Hello friends, my name is Neha. I represent Orbit Software and today we are here to cover Transport Single Consignment Software. Just to give you an overview, to help you to achieve your day-to-day -day task, I'll be trying to give you a small and very brief overview of how this can be helpful to achieve your task easily in very efficient manner. This is our Transport Single Consignment Software and it is completely offline. In transport single consignment software, we can manage the work related to the transport and how much goods have arrived, which have to be delivered, which party gave the goods to which party, who is the owner of the vehicle, in which the goods were delivered, how much oil has been put in the vehicle, what is the freight charge of that vehicle, when the vehicle was received by the party and how much charge is deducted in it, which vehicle is pending and in which vehicle maintenance work has been done and what are the parts or material have been used at the time of the maintenance and how many employees and the drivers are there their attendance salary payment record we can manage all of them in the software as you can see i have logged in in our administrator view and in the master there are many sections available so click on the company details here you have to add the company details uh, you have to add the fields like company name, country, state, city, address, PIN number, mobile number and you can see the star marks here. These are the mandatory fields which you have to fill. So you can add the company bank details here. And if you want to upload the logo, you can upload the logo of your company. Then click on the save button to save the company details so that your company details have been registered in the software and in the party details you can add the party details from new party button which is given here you have to enter the party name mobile number address state state code gst number dhar number then click on the save button to save the party details if you save the party details you can make the individual ability of that party and in the vehicle details you can add the details of the vehicle from the new vehicle details which is given here click on that you have to enter the vehicle name, vehicle number, chassis number, engine number. Here you can add the vehicle details with its owner details. You have to enter the owner name, mobile number, owner address and owner PAN number. And if you have taken this vehicle in a rent, so you can add the note amount, installment, due date and reminder date you can add here. Then click on the save button to save the vehicle details. And in a vehicle certificate section, you can add various certificates here and those records will remind us to renew the certificate of the each vehicle. So you can add insurance details of vehicle from new vehicle insurance button. And you have to enter the vehicle number, vehicle name, policy detail, insurance charge and other details here. And if you want to add the fitness certificate, you can add fitness certificate from new fitness button and you have to enter the details which are given here and you can add the permit certificate from the new permit button you have to enter the details here which are given and you can add a road tax from new road tax button you have to enter these details you can add national permit certificate from new national permit certificate button You have to enter the details here and you can add the pollution certificate from new pollution button here and you can see the certificate summary which is showing the details like vehicle number, insurance, fitness, permit, road tax, national permit and pollution according to the date you can see and if you want to print you can print this detail and in a document submit you can see the vehicle number wise insurance fitness permit road tax national permit pollution certificates are uploaded and if you want to download you can download it from the download button which is given here if you want to download the certificates and if you want to print this record you can print it from the print button which is given here and in a user control you can add user in the software by new user button you have to enter the date person name username password then confirm password then you have to select the feature in which you want to give them access 
here then click on the save button to save the user details then user have to log in with their username and password so they can access the features which you have given to them and they can work in that features and in change username user can change their username and in change password user can change their password and in a data backup you can take the backup of your data in local drive or mail and in restore you can restore the data from the entry section we can create a ability of party to party from new send ability button and this contains the vehicle details owner details oil details material details here you have to enter the details like date ability name transporter name consigner consignee name lr number gp number place of supply and in a vehicle details you have to select the vehicle number so that the chassis number and other details will automatically come if the vehicle detail is saved and owner details will automatically come with the vehicle details if it is saved in the software and you can add the oil details here like date uh, you can select the type which is cash and credit and you can add the load time reading oil quantity rate amount and station address and here you can add the previous reading current reading and previous oil quantity so it will show you the average of the vehicle here and you can add the material detail here and its contents weight in metric ton rate in metric ton then you can add the freight then click on the add button to add the material details and if you want to add the discount you can add discount other charge you can add the billing term you can add gst advance amount and you can see the amount details will show you here in each section and click on the add payment button to add the payment details here and you can see there is a various type of payment type showing like cash credit debit card credit card check bank transfer internet banking you can select any of them and here the amount will show you in a amount paid and if you have selected the credit then you have to enter the zero in amount paid so that the total amount will show you in a due amount and you can select the due date if the ability is in credit then click on the save button to save the details here and let me show you the ability if you add the details of ability it will look like this you can see the details are showing here you can print this and in receivability click on the new receivability you can search the ability from the lr number or gp number then click on the search button the details will show you here of the ability you have added in the new ability and here the details will show you automatically you can add the charge deduction here if the other side of the party have received less material according to you you have added here and they can add the charge deduction and description of the materials which they have received then click on the save button to save the new receivability let me show you it will print like this and in a pending ability record we can check how many abilities are pending and how much we have to deliver you can see it is showing the record which is pending and you can view here and you can set the reminder date for this and in the maintenance details you can add the service and maintenance details of vehicle from new service button here you can add the service date vehicle number driver name current reading last service date and showroom name and you can add the material name quantity rate amount 
which is used for the maintenance of the vehicle and you can add the service reminder payment and you can add a total reading current reading reminder reading then click on the save button to save the service entry then in maintenance you can add a maintenance detail here from the new maintenance button and you can add a maintenance date you can select the vehicle number driver name and current reading last maintenance date you have to enter and you can enter the material name quantity rate amount here of the vehicle maintenance then click on the add button to add the details then you can enter the garage name here and maintenance time and day then click on the save button to save the maintenance entry and from the diesel details click on the new diesel details we can manage the diesel details which is working according to the milometer reading thus reducing the chances of diesel theft you can enter the date here and you can enter the type which is cash and credit you have to select the vehicle name driver name and you have to enter the reading station petrol pump oil quantity rate amount previous reading and previous oil quantity current reading according to it it will show you the average of the vehicle then click on the save button to save the diesel details and in a material record vehicle wise you can see the record of the material which is used in the maintaining and service of the vehicle here it will show you and in vehicle average calculation you can see the details are showing like date driver name station vehicle number previous reading current reading previous oil reading and according to it average is showing you can search it according to the vehicle number driver name and station and in a staff section you can add the staff details which are working to add the staff you have to click on the new staff button then you have to enter the staff name mobile number address mail id date of birth qualification position you can add the other details here and if they are working then select the status active and if they left then select the status discontinue you can add the salary amount and you can upload their ids here from the upload button then click on the save button to save the staff details and for the attendance click on the new attendance button here you can add the attendance of the staffs here the present is marked if you want to add absent so simply select the staff id and remark them as a absent then click on the absent button here you can see it is showing the absent if, and if there is a holiday then select holiday then enter the holiday name here then click on the save button to save the attendance details and in a salary you can add the salary details of the staff from the new salary button you have to select the staff id here then click on the search button it will show you the details here then select the month here then enter the salary paid amount then enter the description then click on the save button to save the salary details of the staff and from the account section you can add the payment details here from the new pay button you have to enter the name mobile number payment amount and details then click on the save button to save the new payment details here and in receive you can enter the receive payment details here so select the receive date then you have to select the name from here then mobile number will automatically show you then you have to enter the rece receive amount and you have to enter the details then click on the save button to save the new receive details here then in a day book you can check the date wise how much you have received and paid and you can see the purpose in the account statement between the date the receive amount you can check the balance and net balance here in the day book and in a ledger you can check date wise and the person name wise ledger and in the report section you can generate different type of reports like billty report which is sent billty report receive billty report billty detail report and you can generate pending billty report salary report attendance report diesel report and material report
सो दिस इज़ आवर सॉफ्टवेयर एंड I can only tell you to adopt the software so it will help you in your day to day task I hope you will like this video have a good day